Well, thank you. Um, many of you may have seen an earlier version of this map. Um, we've changed it slightly in the last 24 hours. Um, as you know, 40 micrograms per cubic meter is the limit, the EU limit for uh, NO2 pollution. Um, the circles you see in green here are the areas that are below 30. Uh, those in orange are the ones that are below 40. Now, between 30 and 40 is still an issue for public health, which I think we touched upon later on in, in this session. The red circles that you see are the areas that are between 40 and 60 micrograms per cubic meter. That's 50% above the legal maximum. Those in black are the ones that are above 50% of the legal maximum, 57% above the legal maximum. Um, and as you can see, we're slightly surprised with the results. Um, you know, the locations we put these tubes in weren't actually on the A12 or the A2 itself because that isn't publicly accessible. So uh, we targeted side roads and we targeted um, areas around the main road itself. Now, as you can see from the map, right at the top where the tailbacks on the approaches, we got some pretty high red results. But it's on the centre here along the village flyover that we actually have some very high ones, 71s, 69s, and interestingly, along the A205 itself, along the bottom road. As well as that, we have some high readings further back down by Elton. Now, as you probably know, around about here, the road narrows and there are less carriageways than at the top. Uh, there are many tailbacks in the bottom here as well in Elton, and we think this is the reasons why there are high readings. At the same time as we're doing our own monitoring experiment, we discovered that Greenwich had been doing their monitoring experiment since 2005. And I put in the Freedom of Information request into the council, and after a bit of hassle, I did get the results. Now, I have real results until May 2013, so. On this next slide, you can see the results of Greenwich's monitoring for the entire borough for the previous month. And you can see the black spots and the red spots correlate with our own findings. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, these results aren't too high, they're not too bad. But you have to bear in mind that NO2 levels change according to the month of the year and the season. So this result for Greenwich for 2012 shows how we wrote. And you can see there was a dip in the late spring and summer months. Now, the British map I've just shown you is from May, ours was from June. And you can see that seasonally it is a little bit less. So, from British data, I mapped out for tonight the readings from December 2012. And as you see, it's slightly different. There are far more black readings, far more red readings, there are only a few below the legal maximum. Um, there, you can see the difference. In fact, there's only one green spot, only one result below 30. Um, interestingly, some Greenwich results have background areas. There's a background area here that is uh, Shrewsbury House and Shrewsbury Hill, which has no main roads beside it, uh, and has I figure this approaching the maximum. Um, it goes to show that the traffic levels across the borough do affect areas that you wouldn't expect. Uh, all the data is available on our website, which I hope you've had a look at already. And if you haven't, please have a look. You can download anything, you look at your own area, you look at results going back to 2005. Um, and I hope that kind of explains why we're so concerned about our own readings. And I think we'll pass back to Chris. Thank you. <coughs> so, um, there you have it.